right, so let's see. We are streaming. Looks good. Um, so I'm basically uh, going to go back and forth between the uh, classic Blazing New Pack version of Dwarf Fortress um, and the new Steam version with uh, the same goals. And of course, it's a different world in each. Um, but we've all settled on volcanoes in both of these. Um, if you watch my other videos, um, I started the Lazy New Pack, got world generated, um, got my dwarfs picked out, and embarked, and then shut it down. Um, then the uh, Steam version, I went ahead and did all that, but then also uh, started actually digging and building the fort. So they might leapfrog one another, and of course, Dwarf Fortress being what it is, one of them may fall by the wayside and uh, be very slow going, and the other one may uh, become a mountain hone within a couple hours. Um, so we're looking at the Lazy Noob Pack um, startup right here. It's all the same settings uh, that we had before. Um, because of that, we can just go down and click Play Dwarf Fortress. I don't know if the screen is going to pop up automatically. I think I still have the settings for the uh, Steam version set in uh, the broadcast studio. So, oh, it looks like... So, yeah, alright, it's capturing that. That's cool. Um, then I'll also add one for Dwarf Therapist. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. Yes. So while <clears throat> Dwarf Fortress is figuring out how it wants to run and loading all the um, these new pack stuff and uh, DF hack, uh, we'll just wait for it to do that. I don't know if this is going to be good for my playing style, going back and forth between the versions, because... Uh... <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Check, 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 Oop. check, check, there we go, I think. All right, so I think, I think you'll still be able to hear that. I hope that the music isn't overpowering. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to go continue playing. It should be Only World. Uh, Danger Evil, that's the one. All right. Uh, uh, play now. All right, so this embark is pretty fresh. I haven't really done anything. I've set up my dwarves. I'm going to name them after some friends of mine, just because uh, the dwarven names. Uh oh. Ah, I just got an error. about divine something? It's 
very strange. Well. Shit. Maybe. Divine. Multiple instances. Hmm. Well, this may be abortive. Seems as though it was abortive. Infinite mode divine. And multiple instances. Do I have Door Fortress playing on another? No, I, I don't. Hmm. Well. <coughs> or do I? I wonder. Okay, well, that's a dwarf therapist problem. We don't need dwarf therapist. Let's try playing the game again. No dwarf therapist. It's strange. The arrow is getting up was for div it's for divine something. The only thing <laughs> that could relate to is uh, an angel or divine metal, and I just embarked. I never had that issue before. So we'll see. I might have to uh, switch to a different user on this computer. Have this running. Yeah, beyond, uh, indeed, beyond quality. All right, we're gonna try this again. Raw data didn't get very far before we got an error. There we go. Not found. Data saved. Danger evil raw graphics. Procedural divine dot png. Okay. I think I know how to fix this. Procedural divine. I don't know. It bodes interesting that divine might be needed for my save. But, uh, alright. Let's go to graphics. Uh, let's go to Space Fox, install. Yes. Basically, I'm just, um, it looks like it was a tile set error. I couldn't find a tile for something that the world needed. So I'm going to switch my tile set, load it, and see if I can go back. Because uh, when you update your tile set, it'll go into all your save files and, uh, and update those too. So hopefully, let's see. Graphics settings installed, update the save games, yes. Try there's a little pop-up and that was not. Okay, one save games updated. Well, let's try playing Space Fox, which is not the tile set that I want to use, but I want to see if... Uh, oh, I want to see if... So I, it looks, it, <coughs> all right, well that loaded just fine. Wait, no, loading divination. All right, huh, that loaded just fine, supposedly. Doesn't seem to be loading fine. Huh, 
that's not. Still not responding. Also, Dwarf Therapist is saying there's another Dwarf Fortress running. Which... Wouldn't be from this... Oh, there we go. Alright. Alright. I don't know, I guess we could... This is a fine tile set. It loaded. I think I'm okay with it. So let's see. How are we doing here? All right. Um, I wonder... All right. That's good. That's good. That's good. I wonder how I can... Let's see. All right. Okay. There might be a door fortress instance that I started but hadn't completed in another user on this machine. <laughs> All right. So this is a dwarf therapist. Um, it's useful for the old um, please new pack. It's just a way to see everything in a really concise, quick way and also make changes. To things. I don't really use it that much, but it's nice to have. All right, so here's our volcano. Let's see. Now I get to use K. All right. Native gold just out in the open. I like that. Let's see. We should. What is this? We have just open space, open space, open space. Lava. All right, so we have a little, huh? A little ledge, a little ridge around our volcano here. Oh, it's right on the side. Okay, I see what's going on there. All right, so our volcano is in the far left, but we don't want the entrance to our fort to be over on the side there. Are those emeralds. Praise. Nah. All right. Emeralds are very good. All right. So. Let's see what we have down at the bottom here. No brooks, no streams. That's fine. Fresh water is for suckers. So we have a bunch of dirt at the top here. First of all, let's uh, make our nobles. Our chief medical dwarf. Diagnostician. Broker, it's gonna be expedition leader. I already set these up um, in the uh, in the uh, prepare carefully screen. Um, we'll do the manager and the bookkeeper, which will also be our expedition leader. But those roles need an office, and we don't have that yet because we haven't done a damn thing. So this is kind of the top of the hill here. I do want. Let's see. And chop down all the trees on top here. So yeah, this um, interface is going to be very different. We'll see all the trees are getting chopped, become a little darkened. I'm just going to cut all the ones up here. I don't want to go off to the side of this hilltop. Let's see, this is a uh, this is a ramp down to the next level down. And these are where the, the base of the trees are. If I set this to be chopped, some dwarf might actually like try to crawl out in the branches and, uh, and chop it from there, I think. I don't know. I've had so many dwarves caught in trees, I just don't want any of them trying to climb anything. It's stupid. Those are dumb little guys, but they're earnest and they're hardworking, so, you know. Can't hate them too much. We're going to also gather plants, just... It's my default startup. I just like cut down a bunch of trees, gather a bunch of plants, um, especially in like verdant hills like this. So we'll start off with a lot of wood and a lot of food just kind of lying around. And after that, we can figure out uh, 
where we want to do things, we also need to pasture our animals. This is a good a spot as any. So, make a zone. In this version, the zones can only be 30 by 30, but I think the Steam version you can make them bigger. But I'm going to make a zone here, and that is going to be a pen and pasture. It's also going to be an animal training, which is another thing that the Steam version cannot do. You have to set a separate pen and pasture and a separate animal training zone, although they can overlap. So, let's see. Um, uh, hilltop pasture. And we are going to assign... all of our animals to that so we can water train our dogs and our alpacas and water buffaloes will pasture and graze and not die of uh, dumb starvation. Another thing that we always do to start is go to kitchen. Make sure that we are not cooking our plump helmets. Our plump helmets are just for brewing so that we can get seeds back. Let's see. <clears throat> Uh, animals, we're going to uh, start training the war dogs. Even if you don't have an animal handler, this happens amazingly fast, and just some dwarf will just learn how to do it super fast. Um, I think I'm going to have... Yeah, I'm going to have the entrance to my fort be staircases rather than digging into the side of the mountain since we're on top here. So we are going to... Um, downstairs, but we want it over on this side over here. Why? Wait, I thought, oh, whoops. J, right. I've been playing the uh, Steam version and already. Oh man, this is going to be such a pain in the ass. So we're going to do a uh, up down stair for the rest of it. Just till we get down a little bit. Oh my god, I hit marker only already. Okay. You can see why this interface got updated. All right. So when it's brown like this, it means they're actually going to do it. When it was blue like it was before, it means marker only. So this means this is just a marker that like, you're planning to do in the future, but the dwarves want to actually execute it. The brown means they'll actually execute it. But again, that kind of depends on tile sets. I think all of them go by that uh, the color designation. Um, so we're going to remove designation. All right. So once we get some wood and or stone, um, we'll make a bridge that will cover this. Um, Make like a little public trade depot and maybe like an above ground tavern for strangers. The greediness in me wants to just start digging out this gold already, but we don't need it even remotely. <coughs> Pardon me, I have a cough. I don't have a cough button installed yet. We'll see. Um, all right, so we're going to unpause, let the dwarves go about their old dwarfy ways. I don't have F oh wait no there it is. Right, so FPS is dropping to 50. I wonder. Oh, wait a minute. I think I might not have actually changed that. Did I? Nope. Okay. No. 200 and 100. All right. It might be the magma. Heat calculations do a number on a do a number on oh did I do auto labor Jesus fucking Christ I think I did auto labor yeah automatic job assignments all right and yet no one is digging let's see I have copper picks we have miners. I think they're all just helping to gather plants, seems like. Which is fine. 
This is the mechanics uh, between this and the Steam version are mostly the same, but they are different in specific ways. And uh, once we get a little bit further in both of them, you'll see, especially the uh, difficulty with caravans and um, farming, are very different and, is, in my opinion, overpowered in the classic version anyway. So it's a race to the mountain home between them. We'll see like how many hours of gameplay it takes between both um, to get to a mountain home. I know that uh, the, the needs required to become a mountain home have been uh, changed and made maybe a little bit more difficult or specific in the Steam version. But it's also harder to uh, get your economy up and running, um, which is good. I think it should be harder, because um, it's so easy to just start a fort and um, and get going. You know what? Okay, so you can you can set priorities with um, the D menu, which is uh, you know gathering plants, chopping down trees, and mining, and specifically. So we're gonna fold it downstairs again, but we're gonna make it. Uh, priority one down here. So, <coughs> and it'll show. So now this is priority one, and then chopping down all the trees, gathering all the plants is priority four. Four is the default. But now that I made this one, they're gonna hop to it because I want them to goddamn hop to it. And get down to here, and then. Make some upstairs, and uh, this is going to be my initial fort. May not be the final fort, but honestly, I think it's going to be the top level of my actual fort because it's going to have almost everything I need. And underground soil is going to be an issue. Yeah, it is. Hmm. It's fine. Don't need underground soil right now. We'll just gather above ground crops because it is ridiculously overpowered. We honestly don't need to farm at all. You can just gather uh, above ground crops in, in biomes like this. There's plants everywhere. I mean, I do want them to fell the trees, and I do want them to gather the plants. I might... Nah, it's fine. Oh, there it goes. Alright, now some guy's getting a pick and coming over here to actually build our damn fort. For now, I'm going to build some workshops. Just really quick temporary workshops that we will deconstruct later. And carpenter. And craft dwarf. Those are good now. Don't need to still quite yet. We're just gonna like jump start into this. <coughs> All right. So we have our stairs down. Um, oh, we're also gonna build. Trade Depot, but a little bit further away from our main entrance. That'll be fine. We're just like bare necessities, so the queue and just hover over a workshop, add new task. I think I already made a bunch of cups on my embark, but just in case I didn't, I want the dwarves to be able to use cups. They don't get any sad thoughts when they're drinking their booze directly out of barrels. They hate that. And also, okay, I've got Carpenter's Workshop. We're going to make some beds. Also, a couple chests, a couple chairs, a couple tables. <coughs> You'll see I didn't have to use my mouse for any of that, and I can just use hotkeys really quickly and make the things I want to make because I know what keys they are and it's 
without a manager it's very much faster and even with a manager on Steam you still have to use the mouse to click on new jobs um, once you can maybe kind of see me go through and uh, get up to full speed you'll see why uh, so many old players are so unhappy with um, not having their hotkeys Like, I never use the mouse on this. You can't actually use the mouse. It does do things. You can click on stuff. It's just, it's not full mouse support, and it's not necessary, and just, it's not what typical mouse, uh, mouse, mouse users think of as far as uh, mouse usage. All right, so, so I can stonewall. Huh, doesn't even tell me what. All right, so we're going to, what do we got? Sorry. Okay. So basalt. I don't give a fuck about basalt. And that is okay. This can still be. And that is obsidian. Yeah. All right. That's fine. Got a bunch of gold there. More basalt. More praise. Yeah, it's all basalt all the way down. A little bit of clay. I'm a little curious how far we have to go down to get some more interesting stone. But, you know what? I don't care. We're going to build it. So, this is going to be the either the beginning of the real fort or temporary fort. Uh, this no longer needs to be priority one. We're going to do priority three, so it's more than trees. But, um, what we're going to do... Hmm... Do a quick little temporary room here. <coughs> I'll start with that. Some things off to the side, so I'm just making some uh, really quick rooms that will be necessary to start. This is going to be like a tavern slash dormitory for now. Um, and then I'm only going to go with... Some people like to do three tile-wide um, hallways, but I think it's overkill. I think two is just fine. Um, and then we're going to have some workshops back here. Or maybe the workshops will be... Yeah, we're going to do some food and wood workshops up here. Some people really care about symmetry. I don't. I say that as I'm trying to get it symmetrical. Okay, we're going to start with that. We're going to have a quick little, let's see, woodworking up here and food down here. So we'll have like a still and a kitchen, we'll have a tavern. And then, let's see, I'm just going to make a dormitory. I hate making dormitories because eventually they're all going to get bedrooms. <coughs> doesn't need to be that big. I'm also going to have an office, another office. I kind of want, okay, a dormitory for all the dwarves, and we're going to have just a dumb stockpile for everything on the surface so we don't get Kias or something stealing our stuff. <coughs> well, you know what? Let's build a farmer's workshop so that we can start, uh, well, let's be closer over here. So we'll be able to start shearing our animals and getting thread um, in anticipation of our cloth and clothing industry. Again, this isn't exactly a tutorial. Um, I'm saying what I'm doing, but I'm not telling you how I'm doing it. You know, I'm not going too slowly. Um, there's a, a plethora 
of tutorials now by Blind IRL, and I strongly suggest you watch his tutorials. He does this pretty much for a living, and um, I think he does a much better job than I do. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them in the comments, but uh, I don't particularly care if you do or don't ask questions. Um, I'm just kind of making this and putting it out in the world, and yeah. I think it's neat. Looks like our doctor is a minor. That's good. <coughs> Let's see. Alright, so the main level has lava there. Okay. That's cool. So I'm gonna might have to sacrifice a dwarf to tap into this magma, but that's okay. I usually do it in such a way that they survive. So let's see, who is this guy? Is it cute? No. Um. Oh my god, I've already forgotten the freaking hotkey for it. There we go, if you get a V. So, he's just starting the mining. He is a dabbling miner. <laughs> hmm. I feel like I said a couple people to be miners. There's a dabbling miner doing that. Yeah. I'm going to go with Enzel, man. Why are they not mining? Because they're doing something else. So... I'm using um, DF hack automatic job assignments, and that is, you know, it has its pluses and minuses. You don't have to micromanage stuff, but uh, my understanding was that only the top three people would do the job. It's fine. Let's get this dug out. We'll have some stockpiles. We'll build some workshops. Um, we'll make this a meeting area so that the dwarves can hang out outside of the rain because it you see these little blue dots out here. It is raining and the dwarves absolutely despise getting caught in the rain. And we can, uh, let's see, read. Yeah, so now we have two dabbling miners <laughs> because they took the picks that the actual miners should be using. Uh, good lord. Does it so, say what his job is? <clears throat> no, that's fine. Let's see. He's really jealous. Alright, has negative view of those who exercise power over others. Respects to law, though. Okay. Well, okay. Love as they were caught up in a new romance. That was fast. Holy cow. Alright. Locum. Locum. All right, what's going on with Locum? Oh yeah, I was gonna rename these guys. Um, Vetus unit relationships. Had a lover in Obak es expedition leader. Ooh, climber. That's fine. I'm kidding. Um, all right. Well, that's cool. Already a budding romance. Good for them. Uh, let's see, thoughts and preferences. This is the old school thoughts and preferences, which is very difficult to uh, kind of parse. The new uh, Steam version breaks all of this out into different things and kind of shows why it um, is actually important. This is just kind of all just a gigantic info dump that is very hard to, to, uh, to parse. All right. Oh, let's rename these guys. We have the Expedition Leader. So we can go to Y Customize and set Nickname. This is going to be Xeno, Danger, Evil. Uh, let's see. Was it Locum? Oh, she's a Militia Commander. All right. All right, well... This one has to be Sheena Glass. Let's see. These other ones, I'm just going to use kind of random ones. Let's say. Um, I 
guess I should see P. All right. So I should be gender. Uh, gender doesn't matter. All right. So you'll see the nicknames show up here. It'll be easier to search for. It'll be easier for me to identify with as, just as a person because the uh, dwarf names are hard to actually pronounce and they don't register as names to me. So. <clears throat> Now well, let's see. What? Jesus. Yeah, I'm not caring about genders. Uh, let's see. And again, I'm not picking these based on you know any sort of uh, preference for my friends. I have hundreds of people. To, uh, to choose from. And there's actually a DF hack script that will take a, a list of names called AutoNick, and it'll just automatically nickname your dwarves when they arrive. So I might just set that up because this is uh, it's kind of time consuming. Also, when I was doing that, the game automatically paused, which is different in the uh, Steam version. Now, oh my god, why are the miners construct what building? Jesus. Okay, the people that are mining need to put their fucking picks down. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no, he's fine. All right. I saw him flashing. I thought he might have felled some logs on top of himself and had many dwarves die from chopping down a tree and having the tree fall on it. Okay, farmer's workshop. What we're going to do is shear all animals, spin all thread, process all plants, although there's probably no plants to process. Process plants barrel, although we probably don't have any barrels. That's fine. I'm going to make a bunch of barrels because they're always useful. And that's very fast and easy, just AV, 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 for add barrel, add barrel, add barrel. With the Steam version, I'd have to like click on a thing, scroll down, click on barrel, and then do it again, because it wouldn't remember where you had scrolled down to, even. But I'm sure Tarn will get quite a bit of feedback on that, and he'll, he'll make it happen such that we can at least use some hotkey. It doesn't have to be the same hotkeys that they used to be. But Jesus. <clears throat> All right, so we've got a bunch of wood. We could let's see. I'm gonna build. Let's see. I'm gonna build a wall, just a wooden wall. Just I'm gonna keep the trade depot kind of safe. It does take a little while to get used to drawing the boxes with the uh, keys. It's not, not intuitive by any stretch. And the keys are not keys that are generally used for this sort of thing in other games. <coughs> Pardon my cough. Need to leave a three tile wide gap so that trade caravans can get inside. Uh, we're going to build an upstair. Right there, so that our dwarves can get up to build a roof over it to keep flying things out of it. And. Alright, depot accessible. There we go. <coughs> so I planted that right on top of my pasture. It doesn't matter. My animals will be just fine. Ooh. Although. What a fresh water. Hmm. Hmm. Where's my animals are going to need to get watered. They usually embark on a brook or a stream. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, 
How's the digging going? Fucking chest so slow. Oh my god. Okay, the miners. Okay. Okay, but where do the picks go? Miners have no jobs, but like. Where do the picks go? Copper vents. Yes. I'd like to zoom. He still has the frickin' pick? Oh wait, no, maybe he just picked it up. Construct building, oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna be right back. back, how the drawer's doing, they're fine. So again, I'm doing some like really quick, just rough and ready um, builds right here just to kind of jumpstart things and get things going. Um, I kind of want this to be the beginning of my actual fort, but just in case. Um, I'm going to have a little back door over here where we are going to dig down. See, whoops, there we go, I'll just kind of see what we can see down in the depths, and if we find a better place, that better place might become our more permanent <coughs> our more permanent forge a little bit further down. I like having deep forts, but since we have the volcano, Kind of changes my thinking. We can have magma forges like right here. We already have gold, like right here too. So we're gonna be able to make very expensive things very quickly. Um, there should be iron in here too, although I didn't see a whole lot of sedimentary layers. Maybe the sedimentary layers are further down. This is a volcano, so all this would be a uh, igneous, I guess. So maybe, uh, what do we have down here? Uh, microcline, clay, granite. Is that basalt over there? Basalt. <coughs> that was the lowest. Oop, is that tetrahedrite? Tetrahedrite. Nice. Even with a Tal said I don't actually use that often. I still spot tetrahedrite. That's useful. Um, still not iron. Oop. Orthoclase. Schist. I think schist is more sedimentary. 
Oop, there we go. Hematite. Cool. All right, well, hematite is down there and exposed. It's iron. I've got a whole lot of hematite. And, oh my god, so much tetrahedrite. Oh, it's obsidian, sorry. That's not. All right. All right, well, obsidian is pretty fucking cool, too. All right, so those layers are still pretty cool. Yeah, this might be just the, uh, the temporary, maybe the temporary fort with just kind of a mass of stuff. And then we'll slowly, um, as we get settled down a little deeper, we'll make things nice and pretty and a little bit more efficient. fucking job. Plants are gathered. <clears throat> also, let's dig deeper. Alright, so I'm gonna freaking mine now. There we go. Smith, that's fine, no job. Mush Commander, that's fine. Y'all can hang out. Actually, I should have... Okay. I mean, I still will. Need to make this the uh, meeting place down here so that people can hang out and have some drinks. I'm gonna build. So for an inn or tavern, you need a uh, chest to hold goblets and musical instruments. And a little dance floor. But I won't designate this um, a meeting area quite yet until it's all dug out because it's eh, you can you can expand it once it's built. But I'd rather just have it be built. All right. <clears throat> And we also need a manager, because, oh my god. This is going to be a little office off to the side for a manager. Um, just in case we decide to have another broker that isn't the expedition leader, because right now we just have the expedition leader being the manager, record keeper, and broker, because it's kind of easy to throw all those skills just all on one person. Uh, after a while, they might get a little... Um, unhappy from not having any free time because they're working three jobs. But uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Oh, also. There's some stone now. Let's see. So this spot right here is very high up above the lava. See, it's open space. Open space below that, open space below that, and then lava. Oh, hmm. What does it turn into magma? Hmm. Is this lava because it's exposed to the air? Well, how deep? Now we just don't know. Okay, that's probably magma now. There's no actual difference between lava and magma. It's just that lava is outside the earth. And magma is within the earth. <coughs> but I'm going to make a little sacrificial area. I'm going to build it out of rock, though. Building, building a little platform over here out of wood just seems dangerously stupid. Because it is, you know, really hot. So, look at that guy. Let's see. I'm gonna build a floor. Uh, let's see. Do we have enough? Oh, a bunch of basalt. Nope. Don't have enough. 
Cardi isn't enough. All right. Well, that didn't work. We'll start him off. So we need 20, we have 30, bam. So I'm going to build a floor out here, and maybe actually have like a temple or something where we can throw things sacrificially into the volcano. So, and it looks like we have the wall built around the trade depot. So we're going to go up, build a floor. Really? Oh, we need to build a downstair. Yeah, downstairs. Thought about maybe maybe making this a uh, couple levels tall, but we can always do that later. We have to wait for the downstairs to get built for us to have access to any building materials there, because upstairs and downstairs, pretty much the biggest stumbling block in the classic game. I couldn't figure it out for several days. <coughs> care what kind of logs. Alright, so we're going to have a roof. <laughs> so all of our doors are socializing around the wagon, because that's the only spot marked as a meeting area, which is sad. Oh my god, these guys suck. Okay, at least we have one miner digging, but the fucking doctor is digging. The miner makeout queen should be digging. That's fine. But you'll see one of these. One of these will go much faster than the other. That is because I gave them mining skills. This, I think this one is the actual miner down here. Yeah, it's the miner. So you'll see him. Go much faster. This is Monk. Monk just moved to Florida. Let's see, and this is John Bastard. I believe is he was in Texas. I think now he's in Nevada. So I'm just gonna name these after uh, friends of mine in in DPW. Uh, if they die, they die. If they don't, they don't. It's uh, you know, I might even name some dwarves some people I don't like, but uh, you know, it's all kind of random what happens to those those people. So I'm not, you know, wishing uh, wealth or ill on any of these guys. Looks like we've already got some gold dug out. So I'm going to have, let's see, I'm just going to have a big old dumb room. <coughs> I'm going to actually start... Start some industries in here. I want to smelt some gold because I want to have a lot of wealth to trade to the uh, mountain home. So once you have a bunch of wealth, they start fast tracking you to become a uh, a barony and a duchy and a, and a county and a mountain home. And that's the goal of this. And I also want to do every single industry. <laughs> so it's a uh, Fairly high goals. Let's see what else. You have giraffes? I've never seen a giraffe before. And a leopard. Huh, giraffe. That's cool. Let's go to military and let's create a squad. Uh, we don't have any armor, but I want them to try to use metal armor once we get it. Machine of Glass is the leader. We're going to do. So, Makeout Queen is a spear dwarf there. Uh, I'm not going to be joining, not because I'm a coward, but Expedition Leader, I have a bunch of skills that it would really suck if, uh, if I got killed randomly by a giraffe. It's not to say I'm not disposable, but it uh, really helps to have a broker, negotiator, and leader for now, and we'll get other dwarves that can fill that role, and once there's a mayor, I'll probably get voted out anyway. 
So I just want to have a squad set up in case I need to uh, fight that jaguar or giraffes. Let's see. So we want... No, let's see. I'm going to build some workshops. Build a still. <clears throat> All right. Now the food stockpile is just going to be basically incoming. Q to go to details and change settings. So I want. You know what? Actually, for now, I want. I'm just going to let it have all food, except seeds. Oh, and meal. Yeah. <coughs> Can't make plant cheese. All right. All right. We want a bunch of barrels. We want it to take from anywhere. This is going to be food intake. Also, so I don't have a manager, so I'm going to build some more barrels. Just... By hand, let's see. Much of those. We're also going to build a crutch, a splint, step ladder, wheelbarrow. Just a bunch of random things that are going to be handy. Uh, uh, buckets. Okay. You're going to need all those eventually. don't actually build that many crafts. I don't, I don't see them as all that useful. Let's do... So we're going to build a bridge, basically a drawbridge for the uh, trade depot just in case we get a big old BC and we want to protect whatever merchants are in there. I kind of don't care about them, but uh, that's just going to be wood. Who cares? But it will raise in the westerly direction. And then once I build some mechanisms, I can raise that and uh, lock them in if I want to. Yeah, I really want to bind the, the up and down Z-level keys to the left carrot, uh, right carrot in the Steam version. I'm kind of waiting for someone to just come out with a mod that will rebind all the keys, but if it takes too long, I might just do it myself. All right, I see some dwarves hauling food down into here in barrels, which is great. Still, how are our stocks doing? <clears throat> All right, so down here we have plant 20, meat 30, seeds 40, drink 50. Drinks are kind of the main thing right now, and they're doing just fine. 50 drinks for seven doors is great, although I might gather some more plants. I might actually, I don't know, do I want to set up a farm plot up here? And build some. Whoop. Wait. Hold on. Sorry. Hit the wrong button there. Build plot. Alright. What? Oh, right. Jesus. Oh my god. That freaking brain rot. Okay. Build farm plot. Build another farm plot. Here. Okay. I'm going to have some above ground uh, crops, just because they're easy and I like variety. Like, honestly, if all I had to eat was, like, plump helmet stew for every freaking meal, 
That would get a little crunchy. And the doors do that. Let's see. Oh, let's, let's build some beds in the soon to be uh, meeting hall. All right. Some beds because we have the uh, dwarf over here just sleeping on the ground. They don't like that, but you can do it for a little bit. It's not that big a deal. He drop his pop copper pick. All right. Maybe now the miners can actually grab their goddamn picks and do some real work. So we can do some supply chain stuff. I don't think I care about it right now, but if we wanted to, we can make this stockpile give to this still. And then now this still won't do any work except from items from this stockpile. And this being the intake food, we can brew from you know all the things we gather from outside. It can, if there's Plum Hamilton here, then this can brew from there. But the problem is, now that this is linked, it won't find any um, empty barrels. So we'll need to have a separate stockpile for barrels to link to this, which is annoying. So we're going to delete that right now. So now it'll just take from anywhere. Won't even necessarily take from the closest plants. We'll set up a little more efficient system in a little bit, but not quite yet. Because like I say, this is, a, this is a LV426 right now. This is a shake and bake operation. Just going to be super quick. And now it's going to be even better because... I don't have a door yet? Okay. Um, let's see. So... Alright, so we're going to set up an office for our manager, and then we can do some work orders. And work orders, oh my god, just makes things so much easier and efficient. It also can overwork your dwarves, like, really hard, which is not great. Um, I don't know if we're going to use this office just because it has a three-gem wall instead of a two-gem wall, so this is actually going to be a little more... Uh, nice for our expedition leader, which is Xeno Danger Evil, which is me. I'll probably die a horrible death very soon. So we just made that into a throne room, which is basically an office. We're going to assign that to Xeno Danger Evil. And bam, now we can go to the noble screen and we can add a manager, make that Xeno. And now you can see the require here is met. So it requires an office and he has one. I'm also going to make him a bookkeeper because we're going to overwork myself because that's just kind of actually ugh, that's kind of how I am anyway. So we're going to do highest precision. So this is just so that you actually have accurate counts of all your stuff. <coughs> so now I can go to jobs manager Q for new order and we can do wood barrel. We're going to do five at a time, except we're going to go into details. Oops. We're going to go into conditions. We're going to do down here reagents, and this will basically auto-populate conditions. So it needs logs to do that. So we're going to make sure that we have at least ten logs before we start making five wooden barrels. We're also going to add an item condition. That's going to be barrels. And we're going to do item can no, no, that's not it. Uh, let's see. Oh, traits. I want empty. So empty barrels. We want the number to be, I want 30 on hand because we use barrels for a lot of things. What if empty barrels is at most 30, not at least? So we want 
10 or more logs, we want 30 or less empty barrels. So now it'll just keep pumping out barrels until that is satisfied. We also want bed. I'm going to make two at a time for beds. The conditions, reagents, items, beds, number, I don't know, I have 10 on hand at any given time. We're going to also need to brew, drink from plant, leave five at a time. Gonna make sure we have 75 drinks at any given time. Now this is from plant, you can also brew from fruit. So I'm gonna do the same thing, so that if we're heavy on fruit, that'll work, and if we're heavy on drink on a, on a plant, that'll work too. So it was basically wine versus beer. Or, uh, yeah, wine versus liquor, I guess. You know what, I'm not exactly sure how that works. I know how it works in the real world, but I'm not sure how it works in here. <coughs> 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 Wait, hold on. At most 75. Did I do that for here? Nope. Yeah, at most, okay. Okay, so beds, barrels, plants, and fruit. We're gonna do, um, I'm gonna make five wooden crutches. I'm gonna make, these are one-time orders. Uh, splint, we'll make five splints. Wood bucket, make five of those. Make um, make wooden doors, make 15. Carpenter is going to be very busy, but I like to have these things on hand. Let's see. Um, and that's it for now. We need a lot more workshops to get my other stuff going. Oh, let's see. Uh, um. <coughs> oh my god, I've already... I think that was right. It's a mating area, right? Yeah, okay. I had it right the first time. Okay, we don't have any taverns set up yet, so we're going to add that. I'm going to add a new tavern. Now we can go to... Uh, we'll go to location details. We're citizens and long-term residents only. We're not inviting strangers in yet because we are not set up for strangers. Uh, we want 20 goblets. We want five instruments. That is fine. Turquoise apple is kind of dumb. And that stopped the music. That's weird. The fatal staff. Eh, not bad. Barricaded saber? Yeah, let's do that. Sure. It's fine. <coughs> All right, so now we have a tavern. Now our dwarves will hang out inside instead of getting caught in the rain. We need a stockpile for wood. And build a workshop. Do a carpenter's workshop right here. Out of basalt, which, yeah. You know, it's a carpenter workshop, so you'd think they make it out of wood, but these are dwarves. Um, I'm going to mine out some more area. Here. Let's see. Was it kitchen? All right. We don't need a kitchen yet at all, not even remotely. Like, 
that they can just eat raw plants for now, and they're they're fine. But we also want, let's see, we want a wood furnace. Yeah, wood furnace has to be made out of rock. But that's how we can make some charcoal, because we already have gold. I want to get started on smelting some of that stuff. <coughs> Pardon my coughing. I, I apologize profusely. Oh, we're going to make Xena Danger Eagle's office a little nicer. I'm going to smooth those rough walls, because right now it's basically just a cave. No one likes that. Oh, okay, so our brewer is going to town. He's brewing stuff right now. We have suspended the construction of a wood furnace because... Why? Because something is uh, blocking it. Probably this chunk of basalt. Which, like, I don't know, move it. <laughs> like, it's not that hard. Jesus fucking Christ. I can look at... Okay. Yeah, item blocking the site. So sometimes there'll be a boulder just sitting there. But like, dude. So move it. <laughs> That's <was> amazing. <clears throat> Alright. So this basalt is listed for a task. What task would that be? Good lord. Um, I'm going to forbid that basalt. And then unforbid it. And then... I wonder if that was the basalt that they were going to use to build this. But then, since it was blocking it... Nope, there we go. Alright, he moved it. Usually they'll just move it out of the way. That would be a dumb logic loop, which wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. Alright, so now I have a wood furnace. We're going to make some charcoal, make some ash. Um, well, we should deconstruct these beds. Now that we have this up here, build a bed. This is going to be a big old dormitory. <clears throat> and then, uh, and so these beds will have some tables and chairs. So also, that's something dumb I like to do is just overlap the inn and tavern with another meeting area. I'm going to add a location as a temple and no specific deity. So, generic temple, just so they have a place to play, uh, uh, pray. Is, uh, yeah, early game, that's one of the things that they really like to do is pray and then hang out in temples uh, and, uh, and taverns. So we get to socialize and do their dumb, dumb, dwarvy, dumb things. Oop, someone's thirsty. Stocks. Oh, 115 drinks. We're good. So now that I have that manager, this stuff set up, I should make that top. All right. So we have uh, plant and fruit brewing. Top priority. We're always going to have 75 um, at the very minimum. And we're still making all these so that we can get up to our minimum par. And after that, we'll uh, we'll add some more things. Yeah, so this guy just came over, he got thirsty, so he grabbed a mug, came over here, and is now drinking out of a barrel, but then he just leaves the mug there. Because once they're done with it, they just leave their tools, because they are imminently distractible. Slave for removal, yeah, what are people doing? Chant, oh, cool. Well, they needed, first they needed some churching up, the dwarves. It's fine. They can chant. Uh, 
like I said, this is a very much a temporary um, temporary spot where we can just kind of get things jump started. You know, get maybe some work on some iron and steel, some gold things. Um, but this is just going to be basically kind of garbage, honestly. And then once we get down here, we'll have an actual fort. Okay, we're going to make a bedroom here. And we're going to make a dormitory, yes. <clears throat> Alright, so we're not farming. It looks like we might be running out of plants. So we're going to gather some more plants. Which is just the easiest thing in the goddamn world uh, with this embark. Alright. And again, um, I, I did choose a, a fairly easy embark uh, because my goals were so lofty with the mountain home and every industry. Usually, you can kind of focus on one or two industries and then trade. Um, that is also going to be very different with the Steam version because the trading is not as generous, which is good. It was... Um, kind of annoying how easy it was to just get whatever you needed or wanted. Honestly, I didn't like it. Let's give them some wheelbarrows. So this is going to be wood intake. So I have wood intake here, and then also food intake here, because these are things that we get from the surface right now. It's going to be intake, and then it's going to be distributed from this intake. Um, summer, all right. So my plan is to build a mechanism workshop, uh, maybe a smelter, um, some mason workshops, so we can start some other industries in here, just as temporary. So we're going to do, oops, no, E, there we go. Smelter, because fucking metal. Maybe base salt for the smelter. Um, yeah, and then the forge right next to it. We're going to do a mason's workshop over here. Maybe another mason's workshop because we're going to want to build a lot of blocks. Is there anything else? I don't need an ashery. I don't need uh, maybe a loom. Yeah, we'll just build a loom just so we can get a little head start on spinning. Uh, fishery, ashery, tire, soap, screw press. Any screw press? Uh, need a mechanism. All right. So we need a mechanism workshop. All right, that's going to be fine. Leatherworks. Shoot. Maybe I do want a leatherworks. Yeah, I do. Okay. That should be fine. But at least we can make some, uh, like, leather leather armor for now. Uh, maybe some leather shoes. Uh, we shall see. <coughs> So now, time for more work orders. So we're always going to need uh, mechanisms. We're going to do rock mechanisms, or two at a time. And we need mechanisms. I want ten at any given time. We're going to want five rock blocks. Want 50 to start, but we're gonna want more blocks. Um, just basalt. All right. Um, let's see. You got the mason shop. Smelter. Yeah, we'll deal with the smelter in a moment. 
the loom will just auto loom, which reminds me. Let's see, we can do shear animal. Maybe one, and we can repeat that. What is it? Frequency checks daily, monthly. One every month for now. And then we can add a new order to spin thread one, but we can do conditions. <laughs> And make sure that shear animal completes <clears throat> before we spin. All right. I usually don't use the um, the other order uh, condition, but it is super useful. I usually just use uh, materials needed. All right, things are coming along. We're gonna build. What are we gonna build? Well, actually, let's do. I want a stockpile for booze. So this is in our inn and tavern, and we want to make sure that. There is booze available. So what we do is food, forbid, just drinks, and forbid everything else, and prepared food. So we want wax barrels is good. So maybe, um, let's see, public booze. So I think in the future this might uh, turn into a public tavern where I'll let. Um, Roust about some nerd wells come and hang out. So this is gonna be public booze. Let's see. Uh, come on. I want to start smelting gold because I'm a greedy, greedy piece of shit. I'm just role playing as a dwarf, it's okay. I want to I want to auto mine. to auto mine that gold and go through that vein and just get it all and we'll see we'll see what happens there all right so no idle dwarves they're all doing stuff which is good giraffes it's funny I wonder if I can tame giraffes Oh, we have a mating pair of buffaloes. Hmm. That's fine. <coughs> All right. ton of dwarven ale, which is awesome. Wonder. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. So I'm considering whether to one, mine out this vein of gold as well. Which is fine. Yeah, let's do that. We're also, let's see, we're all still. Um, this trips me up all the time. When I have it on, set on auto mine, I'll forget and I'll try to mine something else out and it won't work. So, we're going to auto mine. And so this means. The dwarves should just follow this vein wherever it goes. But I'm going to do something else. 
We're gonna designate all, but we're gonna do marker only. Because I don't want them popping out. Because if this vein connects with this stuff over here, I don't want them popping out into the open and accidentally making a new entrance into my fort when I didn't want that. So what I'm doing is doing these mark only so that if the dwarves get here with an auto mine, they actually won't continue to this. Same thing over here. Let's do that. Because Yeah. Alright. I feel confident that they won't slip out and be super dumb. <coughs> Alright. Smelter, yes. So I brought a shit ton of bituminous coal, which will turn into coal. Um, it's cheaper to bring as a stone and also less cumbersome. Well, eh, maybe not less cumbersome, but uh, less items to bring. So I'm going to have my smelter just make all of that bituminous coal into actual coke, which I can then use to smelt gold nuggets into gold bars. I wonder. Ah, okay. So we have 20 goblets stored. That's awesome. Yeah, it's only seven dwarves. They're going to get uh, very much overworked right now. Um, I'm asking them to do a lot of stuff. Constantly. So this is where I've run into issues, is that I overwork my dwarves, and then they don't have time to socialize or spend time with their family, and then they get sad. But, uh, buddies, you gotta buck up. This is, uh, you know... We're building real stuff here. Let's see. Marker only. There we go. Let's make a little alcove here for a lever. the lever. Hmm. <coughs> Let's see. Don't have any blocks yet. I'm just gonna use the blocks. So building using blocks, um, they're much lighter uh, for the dwarves to actually carry, which is very useful. And also they're smoother, so that uh, creatures can't actually climb the walls as easily. I think some like expert climbers can still climb those walls, but it makes it very much harder. So we're going to link up a bridge. Do it now. All right. So now when I pull this lever. This is going to be depot lever. So now when I pull that lever, the depot will get closed up. Just in case I have some traders that I care about. I usually don't. <coughs> Alright. We should also... What? What's going on there? Inactive. Why is it inactive? Again, I only have seven doors, and I'm asking them to do, like, so many fucking things. I should, uh, should chill out. Once these are all handled, maybe give them some time to rest. I'm, uh, I'm going very fast here. I'm not giving them time to actually get situated. 
but that's kind of just that's how I play. Okay. Still. What? No. What? That's not what I wanted. What do I want there? I wanted a loom. Oh. It's supposed to be O, not L. Alright, well, dumb dumb. Loom. Let's build right there. I'll get rid of that other still. Because that's stupid. I, I, yeah, I kind of wonder as far as like gameplay time versus game time, how fast I can go on Classic versus Steam. And of course, it wouldn't be like scientific. There's so many other variables going on. But I just kind of wonder. Like in the in a world that would be built the same between the two, and oh, here's some science. Once the new classic is released, it's supposed to have the same engine. So I wonder if you could start a world with the same seeds between classic and Steam and generate the same world, and then you could really do some science, some comparative, because you'd like. You'd get rid of the variables there. Might be something to try. And of course, you wouldn't do the exact same actions every single time. So it wouldn't be like, you know, it wouldn't be perfect science, but it would be interesting. All right, and you can see it's already weaving yarn into cloth because in our orders, we have standing orders. Um, workshop orders is auto loom all thread. We don't want to auto collect webs because that means dummies will just run it out into the caverns, but that's fine. But we will auto loom all thread, which can get you into trouble when you need a hospital, need some thread in the hospital um, for sewing up um, wounds and whatnot for stitches. If you have a suture uh, dwarf, sometimes uh, people will loom all of the thread before the hospital gets a chance to actually take it for. Stitches. It's not that big a deal. Speaking of, I wonder. I should probably just set up a hospital. Hmm. This is just gonna be like the dumbest hospital. Um. At, at, the most basic, you just need beds and a chest, and the chest will have supplies, and the beds is where the sick people go, but you know, it really helps to have a few other things uh, in store. I already made crutches and splints. Those are handy. I think I also brought gypsum powder in my embark, because that's also hard to get, and you can make casts, so I want, and I also have a chief medical dwarf that already knows how to do all those things, so... So one of the things that I find uh, very useful in the Embark, or the uh, Prepare Carefully screen. <coughs> Alright. Yeah, my guys are doing a lot of work. Do that. Do we have basalt blocks now? Basalt blocks. So they're going to build this wall way faster than they would um, if they were just using stone. Because they'd have to lug stone all the way up there. And blocks are just easier to work with. Yeah. I'm just going to do the two wide, and we're also going to build, let's see, upstairs, wood, and then we are going to remove, whoops, not, remove construction, wait, no we're not, it's not done yet, Jesus, alright, this floor is taking so long. Uh, none of it is suspended, though. It's fine. 
And then we're going to build a bridge out of basalt blocks as well. We're going to make that rich raise. So up here, and you set this with D, A, S, W. So we're going to go D because we want it to retract to the east. We're going to do that, and we're going to do that with basalt blocks. And we can, let's see, name this Depot Bridge. It's handy to name these because, man, we have a lot of bridges and levers and mechanisms. It's very hard to keep them straight. This is uh, main entrance bridge. We do have character limits, which, oh my god, is so dumb. Like, come on. 2023. Can we like make things with 30 characters, please? Like, I don't need that much, but come on. Ooh, we're down super low on plants. Oh, I would never set up my farm plots. So, yeah, we're gonna make rice plants and the blood of amaranth, and then we're going to gather some plants. Oof. Like it's already gathering plants. You know what? It's more important. Gather some plants. We're really low on food. Oh, yeah. We used a bunch of those plants to get up our stocks on drinks. And we have 120 drinks, so now we should be able to just use those plants for food. But now, yeah, we'll have gather plants, cloth. Make another barrel. Dude, the barrels get used up so fast. You're just constantly making barrels. All right. Well, I'm happy with this so far. We can, um, let's see, we can do a refuse. Yeah. Do a refuse stockpile, like, down a level. Okay. That's going to be refuse. We're going to do... We want to keep, oh, motherfucker. We want to keep the skulls and the bones, the shells, the teeth, the horns, and the hair. But all this stuff is refuse and needs to be kept outside so it doesn't create miasma. All right. So this is, eh, refuse stockpile four. Yeah, you know what? It's just. I usually forget to uh, set one of these up. <coughs> All right, our guys are just gonna be like planting seeds and gathering a lot of fucking plants right now. Let's see. I want to farm in here. Unfortunately, like going one level deep in places where you cut down trees is bad. Because if you cut down a tree on this level here, and it's dug out down here, the root system will create a hole. And then that is now entrance into your fortress for goblins and whatnot. And it's not always very apparent um, visually that there's a hole in the ground. So I hate those. And this is two levels down is already just all rock, which is kind of cool. We have some other options over here. I don't know. Looks like looks like if we dug over here, we could probably have a little farm. I think I should do that. We'll see. If there's a, you know, you don't need much area to farm, especially in a classic. You really need only like five squares to farm plum helmets, and you're like so good to go. Uh, we're also going to make another little space. Let's do right there for another lever. Um, 
so that we can close up our fort. <clears throat> Right. <clears throat> Did I do other works? Oh, maybe the L I thought was for leather. Maybe that's what happened. Are there two looms? I do have two looms. That's what happened. I'll shoot. All right. Well. Jesus. All right. Fucked all that up. Let's do. Other works right there. Alright, just actually get to all the things that I <laughs> thought that I was doing. Whoa! Alright. Well, that's crazy. The Hamlet of Wayne Day. Cool. Let's see. Evil Dangers. Is that it? Where's Lane Day? Hmm. Is it up here? Lane Day. There it is. Alright. We've been 50. Alright. Well, that bodes well for becoming a barony and a county and a duchy and then the mountain home. That was super fast. I dig it. We should send a little raiding party their way so they know that, that we want to trade with them. It's weird. Um, one of the only ways to trade with people that you don't know is to actually send a raiding party and demand a tribute, a one-time tribute. But if you do it with, like, one person that's not, like, a super strong fighter, they'll just be like, uh, no. But then later on they're going to send a trading caravan. Um, not quite ready to do that, uh, but it is something I would want to do soon. I'll be right back. And I'm back. So, let's see. How are we doing here? Um, I don't consider this an exploit, what I'm about to do. But it's just how the game is. So what I'm going to do is uh, prepare lavish meals. And we're going to do 20. Um, for some reason, trading caravans 
um, will give you a lot of money for lavish meals. And basically all lavish means is it takes more ingredients than other meals. And since I am in such a rich place with plants, although, I don't know, am I? Oh, it is kind of hot out. Mm, red beans, that's fine. But uh, let's, let's collect a ton of plants here so that we can make a lot of very nice meals for our trading caravan and get a lot of cool stuff. And then also our exported wealth will help us become a, uh, a barony county, duchy, not know. So I'm going to want to um, give the traders like really good deals and just make sure they're super happy and that will also get us more um, more migrants in this version. Now the Steam version, like I said, has kind of nerfed this, which is good because it's kind of really easy to do. But I'm going to show you, you know, how uh, 47.05 works. It's kind of neat to see the progression and uh, and what Tarn and Zach do to uh, you know game balance and what their priorities are because they'll they'll use or they'll leave a lot of these um, overpowered mechanics in while they work on other things that they see as more important. Um, but now that it's for public release, they really wanted to nerf some of this stuff because you know you want it you want it to be challenging, you want it to be interesting, you don't want anyone to just like. Uh, feel unimpressed or uh, unchallenged, I guess. Unchallenged would be the uh, thing to say. Alright, we should also make a butcher shop right here. I like doing butcher shops outside because a lot of times it'll end up uh, with a bunch of uh, rotting meat in it, and if you do it outside, you don't get miasma. If you do it inside, you get miasma. Okay. How are we doing? How are we doing, dwarfs? How are we doing? Pretty good. Still making coke for continuous coal. I want to see how much we have now. Let's go to stocks. So coke or uh, coal is under blocks. No, it's not. Um, it's under uh, bars, sorry. So we have 41 coke. Well, that's pretty good. I think we can stop that and we can start smelting native gold ore after that. It's the only ore that we have. <laughs> but again, I want to make very expensive trinkets so that I can give that to traders and make them super happy. If I had a few more dwarves, I would set up a squad of a single non-fighter and make him go out and raid uh, some friendly civilizations and demand tribute. And that way, you know, sometimes you can actually have three or four different, you know, dwarven civilizations in your trade depot at once. Which is super handy. <coughs> oh man. Yeah. So we're not digging down and exploring any right now, which again, this is supposed to be the temporary fort, but the more work I have the dwarves uh, do in this place, the less time they have to actually go down and make the real fort. So it's definitely a uh, uh, balancing act on that. Still mechanisms, huh? Okay, hold on. Oh, oh I have ten. All right. So sometimes I you, you mess up with the work order conditions, and it just ends up they just keep doing it. And it gets uh. Sometimes you end up with hundreds of things that you only wanted 
five or six of. Okay, let's make some rock thrones. Let's make some rock. Okay, so now that we have um, the masons, we need to start making some stuff out of rock because we're dwarves. We made a bunch of stuff out of wood because it was readily available and quick and easy, but now we need to really start making some uh, some rock furniture because although I don't think there's any like mood um, issue with dwarves using wooden things as for as role playing I think it's better when you can use uh, more rock things than wood so I destroyed this loom over here because I accidentally made two looms and now there's just cloth all over the place that's fine um, this was supposed to be like a, wait, this was supposed to be a general purpose, like garbage stockpile, but then never got finished, uh, getting made, so. I'm just gonna do that. It's fine. Cloth. Leather. Finish goods. That's yeah, fine. Let's do that. Rock farm. Oh, okay. So 13. Man, I don't know. Maybe I should have gendered these fucking doors. <laughs> Embarrassed after sleeping without a proper room. Yeah. Lover, all right. Uh oh, thirteen kindred spirit. Yeah, we did grow up together. Uh, let's see. Hmm. So here's something that I noticed in the uh, Steam version is that you can't see the deities from this here. You hit view, and it'll tell you what the deity is. The bust of control. Okay, just no information on that. All right. Eighty drinks, three plants. Oh no, we need. Hmm. Wait, other? Okay, other I think includes uh, prepared meals. Let's just make sure of that because that is yeah, prepared meals eighty-two down here. That's a lot of prepared meals. Let's see, uh, enhanced view. <clears throat> uh, bleh, whatever. Stocks, prepared meals. There's two versions. One is uh, DF hack. One is normal, and neither of them are great. There we go. Ah, a possum meat roast. I want view it. Yes. 16 possum meat roast. Where did I get possum meat? That's weird. Minced blood amaranth leaf, minced possum meat, minced possum meat, and minced possum meat. So, and this is where the fancy meal thing is just such, like, it's so overpowered if you just have four ingredients of the same thing. And you just make that. And then when you trade, it's like, makes it value 288. All right, not great. Well, maybe my cook isn't great. But that's fine. Drop an ale roast. That one is, okay, this one is 1,254. With a roast made of ale, which 
is weird. It's spinach, minced, minced dwarven wine, minced dwarven ale, which, like, you can't do that. It's not how food works. Some squash roast. Minced prickleberry, purple yam, strawberry, and then squash. Okay, I'm down with that. That makes sense. Like, four separate different things. So this is why it's like, you know, it is kind of, uh, it's not cheating per se, this is how they wrote the game, but uh, I don't think it's, it's not how the game is supposed to be. Still gathering plants. All right, I'm still got a lot of plants to gather. <coughs> oh, I'm not worried about that. Ooh, although, shoot. Hold on. This always fucks me up. Okay. So prepared food is allowed. If you don't put food into an actual food stockpile, it will rot. So the stockpile has to be for food. And that's fucked me up so many times that I keep forgetting. So when I say this is food intake, this is actually intake and then also processed food. Because it's I'm not putting it anywhere else yet. All right, so we want, what do we want? Well, I want fucking iron, actually. Uh, how soon till we get iron? <laughs> Oof, what, I thought, no, nah, there we go, all right. So, I want, Beeline for the iron. All right, let's. And then we're going to go downstairs here. Up and downstairs. Here. Upstairs. Those. All right. So now the X is an up and down stair. This is just an up stair. We're gonna make a beeline for iron. I'm sure we'll actually find it before then. <coughs> oh wait. So on this guy, oh, that should be fine. All right. Pardon me. Let's hit the microphone. This poor dwarf here is just lugging this giant chunk of rock with gold in it, smelting it. So, let's see. Can we make, let's see, other objects from gold? Goblets? Scepters. What do we want? Oh, let's just do. That's fine. This is to make a bunch of gold stuff. And once we have a bunch of gold stuff, we can trade it. And, uh,. We get a bunch of, just like, a bunch of stuff from the trade caravan. Let's see. Okay, well... What? Oh, migrants. Nice. Okay. So we got some more dwarves coming. We're gonna do a lot of dwarves. So the competent swords dwarf. Oh, okay, he's going. Hold on, I can actually just. Uh, can I not 
gem. Oh, okay. Proud. There we go. I can just give him to a squad. What? It's assigned to squad. Boop. Alright. He's already in the squad now. Just the second you get on the map, just fucking get to work. This guy, let's do novice climber and he can dance. Great. Yep. Another oh, war guy. Hmm. 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 Two little war guys getting this fucking squad. Child. Wait. No, lamb. Wait. Child. Children are such a fucking pain. Another one? Ah, yeah, Weaponsmith. Wait. Oh, this guy. Who's this? Child. <sighs> and some animals. Okay. Don't really care. <coughs> Let's. Give the lamb and the calf to the pasture. Make sure they have food. Three fucking children. A little weaponsmith. Weaponsmith is good. That's it. Wait. Two adults and three children. Ah, it's fucking so dumb. <laughs> okay. Also, dwarves are getting a little unhappy that they don't have their own uh, bedrooms. So. Signed all the animals, but maybe they hadn't all been on the map when I did that. No, they are assigned. Alright. So the animals are just hanging out in our meeting area here. Just having a good old time. Dancing. Dancing with the dwarves, drinking, you know, like you do. Well, you only have nine dwarves, which is fine. Still don't have a hospital. Child does as it pleases. Yes, I know. Socialize. So migrants a lot of times will just go straight into the tavern and socialize because they've been traveling for a long time. Which I don't begrudge them for. I'll put a little door here. to let the dwarves do their goddamn things. A lot of these, when it says checking like this, means um, we have we have met all the conditions. So they're not gonna, they don't need to do anymore. Prepare a lavish meal. We still have ten more to go. Got some thrones and some tables to build. Yeah, after that, people should kind of chill out a little bit. Smelting native gold. This guy's making gold. That's good. That's good. Room is done. Leather works. Make leather armor. Make leather high boots. Right. 
just in case our squad needs to actually do anything. It's best to have leather armor instead of nothing. But, uh, yeah. What can you do? Yeah, first migrant wave is garbage. Two adults and three children. Ugh. It's tanned hide. I thought. Hmm. All right, that's fair. Cause I thought I brought a bunch of leather. Let's cancel those. That's fine. I mean, you can make some leather. You want some leather? I can get you some leather. DF hack auto labor might be fucking me over here. Use wall and floor construction. Everyone should be able to do that. Maybe I should hold off on the gold stuff. I don't know. Again, I'm just getting my stocks up to par so that when I do want to build out things, I don't have to wait for things to get built. Uh, which is fine. I think it's fine. beds in the dormitory because we have more doors and then as migrant waves come in it'll be uh, more useful to have more beds in the dormitory. I'll have like luxurious bedrooms for all my little guys but uh, not right now. Make some doors here. <clears throat> and again, I'm just I'm just asking them to do more stuff when they're like super backlogged. So I'm kind of being a dick. Um, this miner is gonna go down and see if we can get some iron. Iron would be great. Fucking more dwarves that can actually do shit would be great. What? Uh, ow. Hmm. Options. Um, double scrolls? Ow. Wait. Ow. Hold on, let me read this. Boop. Now we have them all. All right. I'm a dirty cheater. Allow labor says not anyone. All right. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Um, I want the children to 
I can at least haul stuff. I forget what that is in here. The same thing. Yeah. Hmm. Just because I'm turning these on doesn't mean that uh, DF hack will actually use that. But it might. With DF hack and Dwarf Therapist going at the same time, it can actually create some very unstable, um, not unstable, but unpredictable um, job assignments. So I don't suggest using both of them. It's good to use one or the other, honestly. And hopefully with uh, Steam version, you won't have to use either of them. Although I think I think DF Hack really has some much more uh, granular tools that are pretty fucking useful. All right, and all my doors are medium. I'm not happy. Not sad. Which I noticed with the Steam version, my doors got super happy. Wait, super happy. Real quick. Without me doing anything for them. Which kind of felt like cheating. It is, um, it's a little easier in some ways. It's an easier start. Ooh, tetrahedrite. Yeah. Keep going for. Going for the iron. Tetrahedrite is useful. Gives both copper and silver. More copper than silver. But copper is good for metalsmiths to. Uh, ooh, aluminum. For some reason, that's very expensive. Cool. But man, I want iron. Yeah, I'm thinking that this fort is going to be the temporary fort. I'm going to have a better fort down below. But I like doing the quantum stockpile. Um, I don't know, it's hard to describe. I like taking things from the top and dropping them down holes, down shafts, down to the deeper levels. And it doesn't take as much room. It's hard to describe. You just kind of have to see it. It also factors into why these are intakes. So basically, uh, you intake all the food here, and then you develop like a very short rail line with minecart. And you just dump it down a pit, and then several levels down below, all those things end up piled on top of one another, which is called a quantum stockpile. And then in, down below is where you actually process like the food and the wood and all that. Uh, we shall see. How are we doing here? All right, plant one. Other oh, two forty-seven. Hold up. Whoa, hold up. What? Wow, I should be able to have twenty. Huh. That's each job that you do maybe produces like a ton. Which I'm not I'm not against that. Prepared food. Yeah, prepared meals two hundred and forty seven. So I told him to do twenty. So this is like about fifteen meals per job. Yeah, I had no idea. Well, ooh, drink 11. Oh, because we are cooking the drinks. Oh, no. Hold on. No, no, no. We're not. We don't want to cook the drinks anymore. Oh, no. Okay. Well, that is... Okay. Figured that out. Shoot. Um... Yeah, we need to gather plants at a high priority because uh, we need to 
because we need to brew that. Brew these plants into drinks because we are almost out of drinks. And that, no one likes a sober dwarf. Nobody. Once again, I'm just heaping more tasks on these poor guys. Oh, they're starting to build their little wall here, though. Finally. Got one pillar done. Good job, guy. <sighs> they haven't even done a fucking roof on this. They haven't done this. Alright. It's cool. Not the biggest deal in the world. Like I said, I'm like jump starting. I'm jumping into way too much stuff right off the bat because I don't know. We're gonna get there. We're going to get there. Created wealth, twenty-five thousand. All right. Imported, ten thousand. Is that what I started with? Hmm. Actually, not sure about what that is. Hmm. Yeah. Drink eight. Oof. Hold on. You know what? Uh... Ooh, what? Oh, nice. Do I sure? Yes, please. Remove that order. We're good. Blue drink from plant. I hate this bedroom setup. It's so dumb. I fucking hate it. But when everyone has their own little bedroom, they're much happier. I know I am. So let's see. Stocks, fucking beds. 14. Yep. Alright. That's fine. 512. Still, we're still smelting. We are, and I think I'm okay with it. Still smelting. We need, we need to trade for stuff, and we need to be super greedy right off the bat, so that we can fucking do dumb shit, like dumb little dwarfs. Tetrahedrite, but I'd like it. So, fucking aluminum. Alright. I want metal. I'm a greedy, dumb little dwarf, and I want the gold, the tetrahedrite, the aluminum. I want all of it. Give it to me. Yeah, I'm gonna make little. Bedrooms. I've actually never done this. I've seen people do it on YouTube, and I've always just been like really annoyed by it. When I first started, uh, one of the biggest things that happened to my dwarves was that, was that they would, you know, just get into uh, not tantrum spirals, but just depression spirals. And one of the ways that I found to deal with that was give them like really nice bedrooms, and so that's usually my go-to. And so even even starting like this uh, just feels like a failure. But, you know, the dormitory is giving them bad feelings right now, and I don't want this to be the final fort. So I'm not going to put a whole lot of effort into it up here, but I do want them to be moderately not pissed off. Again, Ritz, 12 medium dwarves. <coughs> oh, no job. That's good. Socialize. That's good. Yeah, no. Um, dwarves need some downtime, so a lot of people um, will see the idlers up here and think they're doing a bad job if you have any idlers, but no, they need to idle. Um, 
for their mental health. Uh, George need to just sit around and just kind of lounge about and do nothing. Just like we all do. Past it. Yeah. I thought it was like top priority. Usually top priority just like gets done. Uh, dig. Alright. Gather plants. I mean, who needs plants? Okay, got 42 plants now. Now I feel way better. Drink 63. Feel good. Alright. They're working on it. Yeah, that was just, uh... So they chose to make some lavish meals, which uh, will pay off. It will pay off once we get a uh, liaison from Mount Mountain Home. Oop, combat. What? Sorry, this up here it took me um, a good three months before I even knew that these were here. This is a combat log. The second you see a red C, it means uh, something is fighting. And it could be something terrible. So, we're going to check that combat. Nope. I'm going to check that war dog. Alright. Fire Imp. Fire Imp? Alright, I guess, you know, we're on a volcano. Uh, so that happened up here. This Fire Imp just, like, crawled out of the volcano. Well, good thing we have fucking war dogs. I don't want more of them. I have a breeding pair. They're not giving me a puppy yet. Once they start going, though, oof. They, uh, the dogs really uh, spread around. So. Mongoose. Alright. So that was a while ago. I guess I missed it. Missed it a while ago. Our dog's fine. Let's, uh. Can't see if they. Alright. Fire amp. Knocked over and tumbles backwards. But it's not killed. Huh. Alright. Well, not not the worst combat log. <coughs> Hold up. Uh, got a little honeybee? Honeybee. Fuck yeah. Alright. Now uh, we have honeybees on the map. That means I need to make little beehives. I don't have to. I just want to. Nice. Let's see. Let's do... for no rush on that though I just like having honeybees I don't know why I just think so I guess there was like a contest or something where Zack and Tarn were like you can look like what animal should we add to Dwarf Fortress and they're like there's a poll or a vote or like I don't know people like voted with money or or, or something for via Patreon and and honeybees became the creature and now you can have wax and honey and honey mead and wax crafts. Um, this is like a neat, neat little thing that they did. And who knows, maybe, you know, there's so many creatures left to add to this world. They have already added a lot, but there's always more. There's always more like weird creature mechanics. Yes. All right. So we have a bunch of human hamlets um, getting founded, and then like looking to us to trade. Even though we haven't fucking traded, dude. Like you don't know me. I could be the worst person in the world, and you're like, oh, I love you. All right, man. You're wrong. 
Let's see. So our economy is doing well internally, but how do they know that? I haven't even gotten a trader yet. That's weird. I want... Okay. Let's... Wait. No military. I'm going to make another squad. So create squad appointed by this leader. Uh, no damn uniform. We're going to... Name squad. Um, Cooper Tiger. And, uh, man. I don't want any of these people to leave the goddamn fort. It's an herbalist. Uh, okay. So 13 is going to be our paper tiger. Wayne Day. We're gonna raid the site. Raid Wayne Day. It's gonna be Paper Tiger. We're gonna do uh, details. Wait. All right. So details. We are going to demand one-time tribute. Hopefully, they'll just. That means they will. I raid my own site. I don't know. This should just mean, like, hey, come trade with us. I'm pretty sure that's what that means. Oof. I hope I'm not wrong. I also don't like sending one of my only nine dwarves out to do this shit. But it would be super handy to trade with lots of people. Hold on. Hold on my... <coughs> so this is hematite, which is iron ore. And we're going to... We don't need to go all the way to the end there. Alright. We've already found some iron ore. Honestly. Fuck aluminum. Alright. Got iron ore. This is the shit that we want. It's fine. All right, man. We're doing pretty well. Doing good. It looks like. Hold up. We run out of wood. Nope. Sorry, I just saw. So when I see a lot of food in the food stockpile that's not in barrels, I see my barrels aren't getting made. But. I have plenty of wood. Oh, what? She already returned? Mission report. Tribute from Monday. Set out. Okay. Wow, super fast. Tribute agreement. Proposal was rejected. That's fine. They're always rejected. Alright, well. And then, what is the other one? So we can do. Hold on, what is it? Holdings. Alright, so these are my holdings. Main day and perplexed cried. Interesting. Those are my holdings. As not at all a barony. Do a jeweler's workshop. Just so we can start cutting these gems and maybe again trade them for something. Hold up. Why is there a sheep in here? You should be confined to a damn pasture. This one, as a matter of fact. What the fuck? It's a lamb. I don't know, man. Hmm. Alright. 107 drinks, 79 plants, 240 meals. We're doing fine on the food front. I don't need to worry about any of that. Yeah, what we need is iron. 
iron like steel. <laughs> new arrival. Not a new arrival. What? What's that mean? Weird. It's a weird bug in old school DF that uh yeah, when people return from missions, they can get a little, a little weird. There we go. She's back. All right, that's fine. Smelt. Well, smelt it up, man. Smelt it up. <coughs> Let's see. All right. 60 gold bars. We don't need to smelt that anymore. Hematite. What we need is hematite. Hematite smelts to iron. And then iron can be combined with flux and coke to make steel. That is the best metal that you can make <laughs> um, uh, in the default, uh, in the basic little thing that you do. There's obviously other things you can do, but we're going to aim for steel. Steel is really good. Yeah, look at all these. There's so many plants and no barrels. We're making more. I was looking to maybe plant some shit, but uh, I was hoping this um, soil wall would have maybe extended down in a little bit. Now I don't really care about it as much. Now I care about the iron much more. So, that, oop, outpost, yes, all right. So now we're going to trade. Outpost liaison is here. You're going to request the trader. You're going to move. See, prepared food barrel. So if you sort by value, that is our shit right there. Cool. But um, steel pick. Where'd I get that? Nice. Cold stuff. Uh, cold scepter. Cold cabbage. Cold crap. Okay. All this stuff is what I wanted to trade. So. Now I hear my guys bringing that out. They're like, here's a barrel of the finest dwarven ale stew with minced dwarven wine. Whatever, dude. Let's see, what is it? All right. No. No. There we go. Prepared food barrel. I want to see it. So, basic value 10. So that's the barrel. The barrel has value 10. And they're dwarven ale roast. 29 of them. Basic value 1,102. That is ridiculous. It's also like a stew that's just made from like beer. Like, but this is how the game is written. This is not, you know, a glitch or anything. Here are the caravans coming in. Um, in the Steam version, you will not see wagons until uh, your barony, I think. Um, in this version, it just it's straight up, you just get the full treatment. Hogs and home. Yes. What? Yes, dude. I'm already a fucking Wait, a colony. Sure. Yeah. Uh, me. Wait. Yeah, me. 
I was going to think about uh, giving it to Sheena, but she's the military commander. And sometimes you need to kill uh, nobles. So I'm going to fall on that sword. There's much to share. Yes. So this is updates your information about the surrounding civilizations and stuff, because uh, well, it's, it's actually a little realistic in that, like, you don't really know what's going on with civilizations until someone comes and tells you. And so, I don't know, I kind of like that mechanic of the game. Uh, we want all leather. This is what I like. You can just shift, right click, and say all leather. I want all of your leather. Um, in the uh, Steam version, you'd have to click on each individual thing. Even if they don't have that leather, like, you still have to click on it. It's just, it's tedious. Pigtail, I don't care about. Silk, though, I care about. Um, is there, I think that's, I want to see what animals they have, actually. I want to see what pets. Sometimes they'll have bears, and fucking war bears are fucking insane. Usually you have to get them from, uh, nope. Usually you have to get them from elves. That's fine. Uh, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Yeah, I don't really need, like, lignite. Yeah, that's fine. What do they want? Wait, no, that's still what I want. All right, what do they want? I always forget this. They're like, I want amulets. And then I just like get obsessed with managing my fort. And the next time they're here, I'm like, what did they want? Uh, I don't even know. I don't really care. And again, this is like, this goes to them being, this is just, the trading is just so overpowered in this uh, section of it that like really doesn't matter what they want. doesn't matter what, um, what they have or what I request. I can pretty much get everything that I want. And um, I'm glad that they nerfed it. That takes a little while. Oh, trade. Oh. All right. Yeah, prepared food barrel. 1,600. That's insane. That's a lot. From just like gathering plants on the top, and they're just, like, mixing them together. It's dumb. Alright. But, we want some raw glass. I'm gonna get some... Pretty sure I already have all that. But, uh... Just in case... Just in case we get a, um, a strange mood that wants, you know, a particular weird, stupid things. Jesus. Yeah, I mean, they're just, like, offering me so much shit right now. It's insane. Copper buckler, sure. Uh, quick lime, I'll take it. Cloth. Yeah, I want cloth. I want to be able to make some clothes. I want some leather. That's fine. I want another anvil. Definitely. I haven't gotten to iron yet, so I'll just take this. Thank you very much. Helmet snake tribe. Heck yeah. And so you see down here, you can see the trader profit is 965. Which is a lot. So I want to make sure that he makes a lot of money. So that he goes home and is like, oh my god, we just traded this guy some more. It'd be fucking awesome. And I love just random food, because the more variety you have in food, the more chance that your dwarves are going to get a uh, thing that they want. So you want weird shit. As far as food. Um, you know what? Okay. So trader profit is 635. My broker, this is first trade and they only get um, experience from individual trades so we are going to trade that I want to make sure the trader is super happy uh, ah wonderful thank you for business hmm well he could have been happier 
It's fine. I have a lot more stuff coming to trade. Okay. <coughs> uh, so, um, my recommendation for Xena Danger Evil becoming a noble won't go into effect until these traders leave successfully and then get to the mountain home to tell the mountain home that, yeah, I'm really cool. Which, yeah, no. I might need some fresh water really soon. I think some of my animals are uh, not getting enough water. I could be wrong about that. I feel like they should... Yeah, okay. What's going on? Alpaca is... Gen, inventory, preference, wound, She has a question mark. This guy has a question mark. I don't know. I worry that they are not getting water. I mean, uh, maybe I should just kill the yaks. Or, sorry, water buffalo. Yeah, we're going to kill them. It's cool. We need some meat. Another tannery. Butcher. Alright, we're good. Now we'll get some tallow. Maybe we can make some soap. Assume more of my stuff has been mooted, moved to the uh, trade depot. So, Oof. yeah, again, like over a thousand for just prepared food. This is gold, 600. Like, prepared food, 1600. It's like almost three times as expensive. And, like, you would think gold should be a thing that people want. So, they did, uh, they fixed this. They did. Um, let's see. A couple parchment sheets. It all begins with the rising sun. Sure. Some books. Let's get some cheese. Mm. Center silk thread. Sure. Capers. Love a caper. Oh, trade at loss. Alright, let's do that. Alright, so what we want to do is do that and then offer. Yes. Wait, offer. Yes. I said yes. What? Wait. What? Oh. Uh, hmm. I can't. Oh. Oh. How weird. Okay. Usually, well, in the past things, you would choose something and then offer. I guess now you offer and then choose things. So. That. That's the one. Um, oof. Okay. So. Ah, seems like it's broken. Well. Offer marks. Well, maybe it just won't let me. Maybe there's a reason it won't let me. Maybe... There's something else going on. We can't offer yet. It's 
fine. There's lots of stuff. Good profit. I don't know. Give me all your cloth. I want clues now. Rock nuts. That's fine. Cook line. That's pretty good. Trade. All right. We'll be right back. I'm back. All right. <clears throat> Allowed wait. There's a lot of shit done. I don't know. I kind of just take all their stuff and give them really good trades, honestly. It's weird that I can't just offer it. Because it's from the mountain now, right? I thought it was. Huh. Hmm. I want to make all my own stuff. I don't like... Eh, yeah, water skins are fine. I need some of those. Ooh, dear. Hmm. I saw a med. Those must be musical instruments. And gold. stuff that I said to trade, but I don't know, maybe not. It may not be... Hold on. There's created wealth, 25,000. Exported wealth, none. Okay, well, they have to make it to the edge of the map, I guess. That's fair. Some hematite. Need some fucking haulers, man. Let's need some iron, bitches. Okay. Iron getting smelted. Oh, we need f fucking flux. Uh, we haven't 
found any flux, but this, no. Uh, pretty sure this embark has flux. It's okay. We can just make a bunch of iron for now. It's fine. I'm still happy. Let's see. First things first, if you have a 3D printer, make more 3D printers. <coughs> it's like, uh, you know, the genie gives you three wishes, you know, you wish for more wishes. More migrants, that's cool. Where are you? Down here. Alright. Go ahead. I'm just gonna let them come in. I'll figure out who they are. What? More children. And a blacksmith. I mean, we got some weapons this last time, and that's fucking awesome. But Jesus fucking Christ, man. This is not a daycare. Fucking children. I don't mean fucking children. Oof. I need people that will do work, please. <laughs> Blacksmith, weaponsmith, and a butcher. And a peasant. That's fine. Well, it's all right. Ah, oh, man. We need... A couple more picks. So people will fucking dig. Like, all the children are just hanging out in the bar, just dancing. Good for you, little guys. Good for you. This is slated for removal. Okay, you know what? Stop removal. Start removal. Stop, stop removal. Like, I asked for these beds to be removed, like, so long ago. Dumb. Ow. Uh, we didn't we didn't bring any cats, did we? That's fine. Sometimes with your food stockpile, it'll get like vermin, and if you put cats around it, they'll just kill the vermin. Which you know, historically, that's why we have cats. Which is interesting. Oakley, Oakley. And I've run out of iron, which is fine because we're not like we're not flush with iron yet. We have all of it here, but we need a bunch of motherfuckers to haul it up there. Which is fine. Right now we don't have stockpile set up so right now the person smelting <laughs> will just go down there and grab the, the huge boulder and then come smelt it so let's do a stone stockpile let's do it all right yeah and make it metal ores Yeah. 
I'll do corn nuggets. Wheelbarrows go very much faster. They also take space in the stockpile. I believe this guy's. Nope. Never mind. Struck native. Coal. What? Where? How are you? What? Are you finally digging this fucking thing? <sighs> it might be because I. Made another pick. Some more people didn't mine. Now everyone's mining. Well. There you go. Yeah, this fucking guy. Yeah, he's going to town, man. Alright. Well, we'll see if that ends in fucking disaster. Also, hold on. I don't know. You could just... A smelter down here. Nah, we'd have to like take all the coal down there. Yeah, children. All right, so uh, it's getting to be a good amount here. Yeah, nothing wrong with any of that. So yeah, I. And told someone all hauling, and then they got turned off. And boop. We'll see. I don't know how it works with the uh, DF hack and Dwarf the Herbist. They, uh, they kind of fight each other. Another one? Oh my god. Alright, I'm just getting all these human hamlets. I don't know why. Like, that's cool. I'm gonna be a baron. Wait. Hold on. Actually. Uh, Alright. I'm glad we're going down here. We need to build some fancy shit. Like, real soon. Yeah, if I'm gonna get a... Oh, man. Alright. Mm. Yeah, we need... some stupid shit. Okay. Um, alright. It'll be the stupid shit. Once you get nobles, they need, like, really nice quarters. It's fucking annoying. But... I'm glad the new version actually um, has benefits to having nobles, which is that you have better trading if you have a barony or a, a county or a duchy. It was like, you know, right now, we can go back up there. We can uh, trade. And basically, all the trade caravans were the same. It's insane. But also, nobles are giant fucking in the asses. So offer, if you have to offer these goods, you receive no payment. Okay. Oh. Well, there we go. That's fine. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do.
What? That. No. It's not gold yet. Good fucking lord. Uh, that's fine. So we can tell our broker. No trader requests a depot. He can go about and drink and laze around and be a little fucko. As all dwarves are wont. And my little exploratory guy up here doesn't fucking seem to have access to any underground soil. Which, again, fine. Uh, okay. Everyone's doing shit. Building. Carve. Sleep. Weave. They're fine. But they're all doing stuff. Struck hematite again? Where? That's fine. Oh yeah, well, that makes sense. This fucking guy, dude. Alright. Alright. Have a nice little... There's a little shaft to what might be the actual uh, fort. I mean, all of this is the actual fort. Yeah. At some point, all of it will get used. All right. They built more picks. Now everyone's fucking digging. Good for you. Fucking haul all that hematite up there, and I want my goddamn iron, dude. Give me some fucking iron. Good for you. Oh, right. Well, because they made a stockpile, so it's not just the guy that needs the iron. It's other people just hauling it to the stockpile, which is great. So, we're going to also make a bedroom. Tiny, dumb bedroom. And if you don't assign it, a lot of times a dwarf will just come up and claim it. I don't blame them for that. But now, at least, I'll have a little bit of privacy. And we have 6, 8, 16, 16 rooms. Yeah. And 18 guys. Which... Like, still doesn't matter, actually. We still have a dormitory over there in case anyone spills over. But man, it goes a long way to, uh, to make a doors happy. In little bedrooms. I mean, it's a long way to make me happy. No, they just get their own bedrooms, and then and we'll, yeah, we'll make their actual bedrooms and smooth those, and make them actually fancy. Where's this? Yeah, I think this might be the level of the actual...
Okay. This is a little marker. This is a little marker that this is the one that I want. See anything special below that? I like this. I like that there's so much hematite. Alright, this is going to be the beginning level of the actual fort. Just come and claim these. I don't want to go to the trouble to fucking assign them. Ow, what? I'm not hearing the music. I haven't heard the music in a goddamn long ass time. Hmm. That's weird. Well, hmm. I don't know if you guys are hearing it. I don't think you are. Weird. Well. Not a huge deal. That's weird. Also, kind of fine, I guess. Alright, well, hopefully I'm not getting completely overrun by music. That would suck. Smooth these <coughs> and make them nice. It's fine. Basically, what we're doing, we're, ma we're making uh, a very nice place for a baron to live. Because uh, I just suggested a guy for barony, which is Xeno Danger Eagle. And so, as soon as that uh, trade caravan gets back to the mountain room, I will be made a baron. And then I'll be super needy and stupid. Stupid. So you need, like, super fancy shit for nobles. Uh, 
I had a, uh, yep, yep, that's fine. The rock doors to conditions, regents, items, doors, number 10. I want 10 doors at all times. It's fine. Um, that's how it should be. But yeah, once they get nobles, they uh, they want fancy, stupid shit. And then if they don't get it, they start using the justice system to like convict people and send people to jail if they don't do the things that they want. But, you know, it's kind of funny. Kind of fun. This guy up here has some uh, let's see. We can we can farm here. Man. Uh, how are we doing? We have all the plants. We're good. Yeah, the underground farming just really actually isn't necessary. Like, not even remotely. It's funny, like, you know, for roleplay benefit, you really should uh, dig underground and then um, and do all your, uh, your mushroom farming, but, dude, it's completely not necessary. You can do above ground farming and just plant gathering and be just totally fine. Ooh, we got a tetrahedron, right? Yeah, alright. Yeah. Ooh, now there's so many miners, now that I made some picks. <laughs> That's fair. Well, uh, let's make some more picks. This makes people fucking happy with their working. Oh, let's do it. <coughs> okay, picks. Now we want battle axe, battle axe, warhammer, warhammer. Just, you know. I need some fucking weapons, man. Oh, we struck horn blend. Who cares? out in that I just put my uh, my fort down randomly and it, there just happens to be like a thriving culture that's just like throwing out little hamlets. It's a human culture, but because I tend to be uh, closer to them, I'm getting economically linked to them. And so that's why I am about to become a barony. This shit is done. Alright, man. I'm gonna go down here. You love this. Tetrahedrite? Not exactly what I cared about. This is the one. Oh, so much iron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Alright, this is gonna be the actual. Let's see. Let's see. Hotkey. Um. Work. 
So there we go. Two comes here. F1 goes up top. Where a wagon started. F2 back to real. All right. <coughs> Trade Depot, that's good. And a wall around our entrance, that's good. We're going to get a ceiling over that soon. And then we have, you know, a floor started over here. They didn't forget about it. They just didn't care. So once they did... <laughs> oh, I need to hook up that bridge. Oh, what? Anticipating the fucking douchebag. A bedroom over here. A really nice one. Put some chests to either side. Oh no. Do I not have a build chest or coffer? Alright. Nope, not coffin. to work. It's not that hard. We can do it. Huzzah. So, we're watching the little dwarves go about their shit. Seems to be doing pretty good, actually. yet. Doesn't look like it. Nah, that's not built yet. Well, it says downstairs, but it's like proposed downstairs. Yeah, no. Oh, actually, this guy's building it right now. He's building that, so once he gets done, be able to build a ceiling. There we go. Uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. And hopefully we have basalt blocks. Basalt blocks. Alright. We want this to be <laughs> rock just in case there's a fire that comes by because uh, this is all built out of wood. And if some random beast starts a fire in the forest, fires can just like sweep through the entire map and destroy this whole thing. This is just my trade depot. Um, you know, I want to be a good host. 
to my trade depot. However, if they get killed, I'm okay with it. I'm not going to lose any sleep. Alright, so our little noble uh, bedroom complex is getting built here. What the fuck is that? Is that crotch? How weird. Alright. Alright. I need to start actually making the real fort. Because I'm spending a lot of time making the temporary fort, and then once I get committed to it, it just stays the temporary fort. And that's not the point. We're going to be a mountain home. We're going to go down. We're going to make all our industries actually smart. And we're going to use some minecarts, and we're going to use some mechanisms. It'll be interesting. I swear. Our hospital's finally getting dug out. Like, seriously. No. Alright, I'm gonna wait for it to get all the way dug out. I want the whole space to be a hospital. expect uh, very soon to be declared a barony and then I'm gonna have a baron who's gonna make a lot of demands unfortunately I mean it's quicker than I thought but also that's what I want to do um, not again it and also I've nominated <laughs> Xeno Danger Evil himself to be the baron so I might just turn into a raging dick and I might have to kill myself because uh, Oh my god. Nobles, um, you're pieces of shit. Ooh, now we're using wheelbarrows. Love it. Love it. Down staircases, evidently. I love that even more. Ooh. Oh, no. Alright, are we, are we done with the coke? Alright, let's see. Furnace charcoal. Alright, so. Hmm. Here is. Make charcoal. 85. Our conditions are that logs are 10. We need um, bars. Material. There we go. Cool. Uh, let's see for uh, it. Uh, all right. So we don't want to use charcoal if we don't have to. So refined coal. If we're like super low on refined coal, let's fucking burn some logs. That's fine. And then... Bituminous. Make coke from bituminous coal. Sure. Ten. And you want... No. We don't want 
that fine call is 10 minute one. Ah, that's good. Put him to call 10. No. Not 2. Yeah, just keep doing that. Yeah. It's tough setting up call uh, work orders. I'm stoked that I'm already a barony. I mean, it's stupid. We're not just fighting. It's fine, fine, fine. Um, what else do we have? Holdings. Dude, we have so many. We have four holdings. That's so dumb. I want this hamlet. Okay, we're gonna raid. We're gonna raid that. Details. We're gonna do. One time tribute, which was one, and paper tiger. Go tell them to trade with us. This is 13, which is, that works <laughs> personality wise. Not that she's a paper tiger, but she would go completely just scare some people into being our friends. Well, it's getting late where I'm at. I think, let's see, Hardland, nice. I mean, I don't care. Right, so let's. Alright, alright, I'm gonna save this as is. And we'll come back to it. But next time, I'm going to play the Steam version and see how far I can get towards the mountain home. Um, yeah, thanks for paying attention.